All right, made it to Jacksonville Beach. Tell you what, nothing's gone how it's supposed to. Weather's been so bad. We haven't done anything we were supposed to do so far. We're not even in the spot we were supposed to be at, but. Anyways, I did some digging here yesterday for an hour or two. It was freezing. I'm back today, it's a little nicer. Real short hunts. Um, I have no idea what this is. This is kind of my first good find. I got a little bit of clad and an earring. All right, well, I have a nice uh, point line going with quarters. It looks like I found me an earring. And just first glance, this looks like it's gonna be silver. Well, let me wash it up. See if it's got a mark. Well, I washed it up and I'm not sure. Just gonna keep going. Well, that had me going for a second. I could actually see that poking out on top. Uh, well, at least we're finding stuff. I actually got quite a few coins. Yeah, looks like I finally got a ring. Let's see what we got here. It looks like a junker. But I did get a ring. Look at that. All right, let's turn into a decent little hunt. Well, I got some sort of bling there. Some sort of earring, looks like. Okay, gonna have some hunts in Tybee, Georgia today. I got my first signal here. No clue what it is, but it is a mid-tone. Probably gonna be a full tab or something. Got it right there? Oh, that's a huge stuff. Championship 09, Reno, Nevada. Some sort of pin. Well, this is the first time I've ever metal detected a picture. Picture of 8th Street, apparently. But yeah, that came up on the metal detector. How weird is that? Well, it's been slow. I got a few pennies and stuff. And my problem is I'm here at high tide, which... Happens a lot when you're on vacation, you know, you don't get to necessarily pick your best schedule, so. I guess for the meanwhile, I have to do some dry sanding and stuff, because, uh, yeah, we're only probably an hour away from the highest tide of the day, so. Well, I thought I was going to get a thing, but I got this totally encrusted earring. Not crazy looking. Nah. Fortunately, I can see copper coming through, so it's gonna be a junker. So I just got a five. It's a ring. That may be gold. Oh, boom. Is that gonna be the first gold of the vacation? All right, let me look for a mark. Well, there is some writing in there, but it's wore off. I'm pretty sure this is going to be white gold. That's why it rang so low. It would have normally probably rung like a 7 or an 8 if it was yellow gold. I find the white gold rings a little lower on the Equinox. So, I'll have to get back to you. But... You know, it's I have a white gold ring on too, and usually if it's stainless, you can really tell because white gold is actually a little bit yellow, and these two seem to be the same color. And it seems like one I can make out one letter, which seems like a T. So, anyways, pretty sure it's gold. I'll get back to you. Okay, guys, turned out to be a, a little over a gram and a half. the way there. A little over a gram and a half of white gold. Awesome. But yeah, that yellowish is a dead giveaway. I mean, stainless is usually way more silvery looking than white gold is.
and you know how many of you are gonna dig a five well when i got here it was high tide now we're almost to low tide another hour and a half i think Let's see what we can get well i had my heart racing for a second <laughs> I'm poking up in the sand, looks like a ring. Looks like it's just a junk earring. Okay, I got a boom in like 11, 12 here. Let's see what we got. Interesting. Is that the gold ring we're looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. A solid 11 now. I guess see it. What do you got? No. He's shrapnel. Yeah, there's a lot of these uh, brass pieces here on Tai B. I don't know if it's from the battles that happened here or what. Oh, that one's booming. I don't know what that is, but it sure is loud. Huh. Possible there's a pop can buried clear out here. Yeah, probably something like that, isn't it? I'll bet you that's a pop can. Oh, you know, I wonder if it, if it could be like a cell phone, huh? I definitely filled it in there. Whatever it is, it's kind of big. All right, I got it. Haha, <laughs> it is a cell phone. All right. So here's the million dollar question. Uh, I was hoping this sucker was going to have a case. See if there's money behind it. Well, it's a chain. <laughs> oh, man. I'll tell you what, whoever's hunting Tybee, my hat's off to you because uh, it's hardly a sound around here. I'm working by the swing. And I already saw that there was a ring. I haven't seen what it is. But, unlike yesterday, it looks to me like a stainless ring. Just right off the bat. But it'd sure be cool if that was white gold, but... So this is ringing up a 9. Which is pretty typical, I think, for this size. And then, you know, if I did my same trick... Probably be hard to see that on camera. But this is clearly more silver than that one. This, uh actually looks yellow next to this one but hey a ring is a ring guys <laughs>